Tony, your Truth Be Told podcast has covered ancient civilizations, world religions, and similar topics for years. What made you want to take this a step further and start Earthly Beings Foundation? The modern world, I feel, has lost its wisdom of the ancient culture and their um, connection to the Creator. And I think that that has divided us, that has felt that we have lost our way in this world where that has been such a powerful message from you know ancient Egypt to Machu Picchu to even the Asian cultures where we don't have that support that we once had. On the topic of preservation, how do you plan on executing your mission? Earthly beings is setting out as their goal to preserve the traditions and beliefs of the ancients for our future generations. So I believe that the uh, colonization of the ancient world uh, has led to the erasure of their traditions and beliefs. So our mission for earthly beings is celebrate, share, and preserve. And that's where we begin our journey. What will the cultural events and educational events from Earthly Beings Foundation look like? What can people expect? So we're planning on creating events such as online classes, um, workshops, lectures, uh, educational uh, experiences for people of all ages and races, bringing in speakers, experts, uh, traditional native uh, tribal members, and we want to also put together programs for the youth to understand where a lot of these traditions came from so we can build a bridge instead of division between different cultures. And I feel that even for adults that we've lost our enthusiasm for um, the ancient cultures, you know, even though we're interested in them, uh, we don't take the time to understand what the traditions and beliefs were. Owning your own podcast studio, uh, being a podcast producer, how do you see that playing into or working with Earthly Beings Foundation? To share these experiences with the public and to preserve and record these experiences for future generations. The reason I started uh, my own studio um, and creating content for the masses uh, is to give people voices. And so with a podcast studio, I can give the opportunity for uh, grants and uh, e creating events for podcasters to share their own ancient traditions and share their own uh, beliefs when it comes to their culture. And so that's why I think it benefits me to create something like this, is to really bring people together under one roof and create content. Okay, big question. In 2023, you launched the highly anticipated Parapod Festival, and now you said that you're taking Parapod under the umbrella of Earthly Beings Foundation. So people want to know, will there be a Parapod Festival 2024? Will Parapod 2024 happen? Yes, and I'm not gonna say no, but yes, it's going to be smaller events. Uh, I just felt that we can keep the events going throughout the year and reach more people that way and give them more experiences and more affordable. And so I really wanted to create smaller events throughout the year. In the new year of 2025, possibly a larger event, but right now we're going to focus on smaller. 